I love these cookies so much. Mm. Today we're gonna make a really easy cookie and it's also a favorite of mine, white chocolate and macadamia nut cookies. I like to measure out all my ingredients. I find it just makes it easier if you batch your tasks. So weighing out all your ingredients, measuring everything, then you do your mixing, then you do all your scooping, then you do all your baking. So I'm just starting by weighing out the dry ingredients in a bowl and I'll whisk them together. My recipe has a lot of salt because I find white chocolate macadamia nut cookies can be quite sweet between the cookie dough itself and the white chocolate. So I like to add a significant amount of salt, a whole teaspoon for 16 to 18 cookies. I'm using diamond crystal fine kosher salt. If you're using regular table salt, use half the amount. And baking soda is our leavening agent, but it's not really leavening in this case. I think it's more contributing to the spread by working on that gluten network, preventing it from forming so the cookies spread out a little and aren't so tight. In our mixer bowl, we're gonna add the butter and the brown sugar, which we're gonna to mix together first before adding the egg and the rest of the ingredients. Make sure you're working with softened butter. Usually that's around 20 degrees Celsius. If it's too warm, you might have issues mixing in the egg. I'm using all light brown sugar in my cookie dough because I prefer the flavor of light brown sugar and also the texture. Um, sometimes you can use a mixture of granulated sugar and brown sugar. When you use a mixture of granulated sugar and brown sugar, it's to get the best of both worlds between the flavor of the brown sugar, the crispy texture that the granulated sugar contributes, and the chew of the brown sugar. In the white chocolate macadamia nut cookies, I'm using all brown sugar and I'm using a light brown sugar because I want to add a little flavor, but not too much. And I wanna have that soft and chewy texture. So we're gonna set that aside. So we have one egg in our cookie dough and I'm gonna just crack it in a glass to add it later. I always like to crack my eggs into a separate cup before adding to the mixer bowl, just in case doesn't crack nicely and you end up with shell on your egg, better to remove it in the glass than in the bowl with your dough. And the last ingredients are of course the white chocolate and the macadamia nuts. I'm using, I think they're supposed to be whole macadamia nuts but they're kind of a mixture of whole and halves. I'm gonna chop them though because I find they don't mix in well otherwise if they're too large. So we're gonna chop them at least roughly, coarsely. For the chocolate, I'm using a combination of a bar of white chocolate and some white chocolate chips. I prefer the taste of these, but I find these kind of hold up better in cookies. So we're using a little bit of both. These technically are not white chocolate, so don't be fooled. They're actually called white cream chips because they're made with milk ingredients, sugar, and different types of oils. There's actually no cocoa butter in this, so it's not technically chocolate. So you, you could use all white chocolate or you could use the white chips, whatever you have works. I like to use a bit of both. I'm gonna chop the white chocolate bar into smaller pieces just to make it easier to incorporate and so that it incorporates more evenly into the cookie dough. 
top. I also like to use chunks of white chocolate as a garnish on top of the cookies. So I top each mound of cookie dough before baking with a little piece of white chocolate, whatever I can fit on the scoop. And it looks nicer when they come out of the oven. Topping each scoop of cookie dough with a little bit of white chocolate, it helps you identify what was in the cookie. Just gonna roughly chop the macadamia nuts. want little pieces like this as opposed to, you know, you have or quarter them basically. Scrape down your bowl. Now we're gonna add the egg and the vanilla to the creamed butter and sugar and beat it in. Scrape down the bowl again. Scraping the bowl is like the worst task in baking, I think but it's also one of the most important ones. If you don't scrape down the bowl, you'll have patches of sugar and butter in your cookie dough, and that will lead to textural defects. You might even see it on the surface of the cookies, like little crystallized patches. That's just from improper mixing. Now we're adding all the dry ingredients at once. Flour's almost completely gone. So now we're gonna add the chocolate chips and the macadamia nuts. Now I held back a little bit of the mixture of white chocolate and macadamia nuts so I can use this to garnish the cookies before I bake them to make them look cute. I'm gonna give my cookie dough a stir with the spatula just before scooping to make sure all the ingredients are evenly combined, especially on the bottom where they get stuck. I think it looks pretty good. The dough has clumped together, which is nice. I'm gonna portion out the cookie dough onto this mini sheet pan. It's a, I think it's a one third sheet pan. It's from Costco and by Nordicware. There was a deal where you could get like three or four in a package for like under 20 bucks. So obviously I had to get a pack. I really love them. The size is a bit odd. I'm using a one and one third ounce scoop, which is apparently 39 mLs. Dough scoops will roughly weigh between 40 and 50 grams. You could weigh each scoop out to make sure they're completely even, but I don't want to. I portioned out 17 scoops of dough. Sometimes I get 18, sometimes I get 17, I don't know. But lately I've been getting 17, so this recipe might make 17 cookies, which is a little bit odd. It's one shy of a dozen and a half, but anyways. I'm gonna take those reserved chocolate chunks and macadamia nuts and just 
we're just going to place one or two of each on each cookie just to garnish them. So now my oven is preheated, so we're going to bake six cookies at a time on a half sheet pan. Remember to stagger your cookies. So we're going to look something like this. And I've lined the sheet pan with parchment paper just to make cleanup easier. While the first sheet is baking, we'll prep the second sheet of cookies. absolutely reusing parchment paper that I've already baked on. I honestly hate cutting it and when I get it to the right size I try to use it as much as possible. There's a bakery called Olivier Gourmando in Montreal. It's extremely well known for good reasons. Um, they make amazing sandwiches and they have a lot of baked goods and they have a white chocolate macadamia nut and coconut cookie, which I haven't tried, but the owner was telling me about it on Instagram, so now I need to go again. You could actually replace part of the macadamia nuts with coconut, shredded coconut. I would use the same volume. Instead of one cup of macadamia nuts, you could do half, half, half coconut, half macadamia nut, or you could do all coconut if you prefer. edges a little bit. They don't have to be perfect. I love how the white chocolate and the macadamia nuts on the top get a little caramelized. So delicious. Cookies are baked and they look amazing. Can't wait to try one. They're chewy and a little soft. Mmm, so good. I love these so much. If you'd like to bake these white chocolate and macadamia nut cookies, head over to bakeschool.com. You can use the search bar or the recipe index. They're categorized under cookies, obviously. Thanks for watching. See, the middle is just a little bit gooey. It's delicious. For being honest, I recorded this video just so I can make these cookies again. <laughs> They're really good.